The following workflow to develop is the system one filter work items data table and its task is to filter the output data table from the previous workflow to retain the items with WI port type and open status. So for the precondition, there should be an existing input data table and for the post action, uh, the workflow will pass the filter data table to the populate queue workflow that we will also create later. So we have four argument in this uh, workflow and before we start i just i just remember the old saying that if you click the like button of this video you will get lucky and when you click the subscribe button you will get even luckier all right so let's uh, start by uh, right clicking on the system one folder and select add new sequence and let's name the sequence system one filter work items data table and hit create now we can start creating the uh, four arguments for this workflow let's start with the type this should be an in and it should be of type string next is the data table uh, later we will pass here the output data table from the previous workflow so yep Let's name that in data table, it should be in direction. And for the argument type, it should be of type data table. And next is the out filtered data table. The direction should be out and the argument type should also be a data table. Last one is the status. For the status, it should be in and of type string. All right. So after creating the arguments, uh, the first activity we need for this workflow is the filter data table activity. So look for the filter data table activity. And this one, so we drag it to our workflow. So let's just say work items data. So here, uh, let's input the in data table argument for the data table field and click the configure filter button. So we will select keep and input type for the first column. It should be surrounded by a double quote. And for the operation, it should be equals. For the value, it should be the in type argument. So we will click add to add more condition and we will be using the end. And for the next column, we will use the status and set that also to equal. And for the value, that should be our in status argument. And the output of this filter process, we will store that to the output filter data table argument. And if you're uh, asking, or if you might be asking, where did I get those uh, filter column? So first filter column that we have is the type. That is the, the type column in here. And the second filter is the status. So we want to filter only the items under the WI port type and with the status open. So after creating this filter, click the uh, OK button. And that should be all for our uh, filtered work items data table uh, workflow. So make sure to save that and close. We will work on the next workflow. So our next workflow is the uh, populate queue workflow. And its task is to send the filter data table from the previous workflow we just did to the orchestrator queue. So the precondition for this next workflow is that there should be an existing input data table or a filtered input data table. And the post action is that there will be um, new transactions items in our orchestrator queue. So the first thing that we should do in here is navigate to the orchestrator, open your orchestrator, and then go to the shared folder and click the Qs tab. 
and in here we will add a new queue so click add queue and select create new queue and here we will use uh, wi4 items for the queue name and for the description maybe we can just say or input generate yearly report work items so after that just click the add button to create the work queue so after creating the queue we can go back to the uipath studio and here we will create a new sequence uh, since this is not related to system one maybe we can create the sequence just in the main folder so uh, click new and select sequence and we will name the sequence populate queue and hit the create button so in this workflow uh, we'll start by creating an in argument and we will name this argument in wi4 items and it should be of type data table again we will pass to this argument the filtered data table which is the output of the previous workflow so in this uh, workflow the first activity that we need is the for each row in data table activity so go to the activity tab look for the for each row in data table activity and here uh, I will just update the label name and I will replace this uh, for each variable to just simply row and for the in field I will input the in wi4 items argument now uh, we need to add an add queue item activity so this activity will send the items to our orchestrator queue so wi4 now uh, for this activity we need to create uh, uh, for the properties we have here the queue name so Maybe we also need to have another argument for the queue name. So let's add another argument and I will name this in queue name. And it should be of direction in and the argument should be of type string. And that argument we will assign that to the uh, queue name property of the add queue item activity. So assign that in queue name argument. And for the folder path we will enter shared and yeah this shared value uh, you can also include this to the configuration setting so that instead of typing it or uh, yeah uh, typing a hard-coded value here later we can just use or maybe you can use an in argument and then just pass that argument value to this uh, property of the add queue item activity but if you don't want it to make complicated so let's just type shared in that folder path field value and next we will click the button beside the item information um, field so this one and here we will add three arguments so the first one is the WIID and the next one is the type and the last one is the status. So for this three argument, we will assign the current row uh, value. So for the WIID, we will be using the row WIID that to string. For the type that should be the row type that to string and for the status that is the status that to string so where did I get this <laughs> uh, volume so if we will go back to the app map page or to the system one uh, these are the the column I am using so the WIID the type and the status where we're just uh, creating one argument for each column in our 
current work item. So that's the meaning or that's where I get this column names. So hit OK after doing that. And next is, well, I guess that's all for this workflow. So just uh, click the Save button. And we did not provide a default value to our in arguments. Later, we will be testing this. So for the next workflow, we will be working on the, uh, well, well, actually, we will be editing the configuration file to add all of the setting that we need for this project before we finally run it. So I'll see you in the next video.